people tend to believe their past determines their future. But in reality, we are always able to change. In fact, we are completely free to live however we want, and the freedom to transform is always available. Just think about an optimistic and a pessimistic person you know from your social circle. We might think that their personalities are fixed that way, but the truth is, these people are an articulation of their individual outlooks in the world. In other words, if your vision of the world is negative, pessimism will rule the day. Let me tell you something. We actively choose our lifestyles and worldviews around the age of 10. This decision is based on previous life experiences, both positive and negative. Just think of all the people you know who talk a lot about their unhappiness and how they want their lives to be different. You might get the impression that they do want to change, but actually, the opposite is true. If they really wanted things to be different, they would have done something about it. Same for an unhappy singleton who have been alone for years. The fear he gets from meeting new people is because he's set in his ways and attached to his lifestyle of solitude and unhappiness. When you look at the way we've constructed the world, you'll see that we've placed a great premium on competition. It's how we define success. As a result, people will see their fellow humans as rivals and threats to their success. Needless to say, living in a world packed with rivals is highly stressful. Unsuccessful people are going to suffer in such a system. But it's also bad for the winners because they are under relentless pressure to drive on to the next success and not lose their winning position. This explains why highly productive people can still be deeply unhappy despite their success. And the way to solve this problem is simple. You shouldn't feel that anybody else is holding you back. Same thing goes for people who stammer when talking. The solution lies within the person who stammers. They should stop focusing on themselves and their fears and become interested in others. Another common thing people worry about is their appearance in front of people. We might be concerned about what others see when they look at us. In fact, most of the time that's just nonsense. Because most people don't care about how others look. And let me tell you something. When you're young, you will be worried about what others think about you. When you're an adult, you will stop caring what everyone thinks. But when you're 60, you realize that no one was ever thinking about you in the first place. If you know that, you will learn to accept freedom. Because after all, nothing can hold you back from doing what you really want, other than your own attitude. You don't need recognition or approval from others to live your life.